And if okay. your team flames you, like, swear to God. That, that can be a good barometer. If anybody flames you for not doing it, instant mute. Click, mute it, okay. instantly. Because it shouldn't, they shouldn't have this expectation, like, we should all go die on the bounty runes. Like, that is a bad practice. Hey guys, welcome back. This is weekly coaching number 17, and a student has hit Crusader 1. So we're actually making a lot of progress. And I noticed also he's on a fat win streak. I think it's uh, 13 wins and like four or five losses. Yeah, five losses. That's pretty good. Um, he said he was doing better with rune rotations. And so we have a couple games to look at today. So we'll go through those really quickly. Uh, what's the MMR now? 1520. 1520. Hell yeah, dude. Let's see. So good job on hitting Crusader 1. Nice job on that. Uh, let's see. So you wanted to look at this last Hoodwink game. Yeah. Let's try and download that one. And you said you're not buying wand as much. Um, other yeah. homework things. So, yeah, we did that with the wand. And seven and eight minute right, ruin. Right. Okay. I go try to go for the six and seven, and then sometimes I missed the six. So when I went to the seven and eight. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, do you want to skip ahead straight to those parts, or do you want to look at other stuff? Um. Yeah, you can. That you can do them, they're fine. Sorry, which what? Yeah, you can look, you can go to those parts. Okay, for sure. So we'll skip ahead, go to like five minutes. Okay, 536, cool. Yeah, I see you're going for kind of a build here, kind of, sort of. Nice. Okay, now we're going for it. Cool. Got the stack. Nice. Okay, going for eight minute rune. I did like, like to go to the check the thingy. Sorry, say go. say again. I did speak to him to go check the top ruin. Mm -hmm. But like he didn't go for it. Yeah, I'd say like if he has a bottle, like you could leave it for him. Yeah, like what you did is fine. That makes sense. It's up to him if he wants to grab it or not. These double stuns are crazy. Okay, cool. Uh, let's jump to the next one real quick. Uh, you said this lion one? Yes, this lion one. Yeah. I did try to do it in the Hoodwink one before that, but then the, the Zeus in that one didn't go for it either. Okay. So I just... We're not tremendously worried about whether it works or not or whether you know like it was good it's simply just we're trying to build the habit that's all okay i saw your floating gold here too so to explain um the starting items here was this a, a case of like you didn't know which item you would need so you wanted to hold it yeah okay what were your thoughts on it? Um, if if it's like a blood seeker in my thing, I'll most likely get like the stick. Uh -huh. will put the Q on a lot, but then say I get like DK or like profit or something like that, I won't need to buy it. Right. Early. Okay. Um, and we're still doing this stuff. So remember with the contesting runes thing, right? Yeah. You gotta be. You gotta not let this happen where you lose all your health okay so like walking up like this is crazy like like walking uphill like this you you don't know who's here like like are you if, if you're thinking like you can just kill him like yeah. you can't <laughs> you can't kill him he out damages you anyway um but 
The effect of this, like we've shown this before, the effect of this is like you're just crippled now. Um, and it's actually, it's extra bad because there's a blood seeker in the game, like you're buffing this guy across the map by being low health. So like at this okay. point, you like have to TP home or send out a south and you're going to be late to lane and you're going to miss the first wave, right? Yeah. Plus you also have the spirit breaker charging you. And then I don't understand walking up here again. So what, what was the logic on that one? There's, someone said he's disconnected. <laughs> like. Okay. You figured like, like you could go kill him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm, yeah, don't don't even bother. You got baited. Okay. Um, but here's the problem. So by the time you get back to lane, you've missed two waves already. Yeah. So it's just like this is why we don't want to mess around on the runes and take big risks. Um, because like you just show up super late, and then like you don't have time to like unblock this. They already have a level advantage. Centaur is a little bit behind because of it. So really important to show up in lane. Get get there on time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's jump ahead. So 5.30. Cool. Walking away for the rune. Nice. Okay, good. You can leave. And then uh, another thing you can add to it, so like after you do this rotation, you're already in the area, you can go try and steal their bounty room. Okay. You have to keep a little bit of tabs on what the mid player is doing, because if the mid player is a guy that can just kill you, then you know maybe it's a little bit dangerous, but that's a good opportunity to go do that. Go for wisdom rune, cool. Yeah, the six to seven minute period is a little bit awkward. There's not like a ton to do in between. So you, you end up with a lot of downtime here. That's not really a good way to avoid that. We want to be looking for the eight minute rune next. sneeze sorry damn allergies okay so we didn't go for the eight minute rune here but we did kind of have to hold this lane so kind of makes sense yeah. i um, think it was just xp i'm a, i think i'm like all oh. right if i'm like getting solo xp i was just like oh i'll i'll take it myself then get yeah the in it. yeah it makes sense I, I would probably do the same thing i wouldn't leave an empty lane Make sure you're actually staying in XP range. This is the XP range right here. You can have that. at your camera while you're dead. Cool, we're looking around. Nice, I like the UTP mid here. This is good. All right, nice. I wanted to see how you did on the 10 minute rune as well. Okay, uh, let's look at the next one. You said the Hoodwink 5521, right? Yeah. Okay. Where are you? Here you are. Just keeping it loose. So I'm seeing you like fight for the runes in like every single game. Um, is that is there a reason for that? Is it just like everybody always wants to or what? I think everyone goes and if you don't go it's like like not going like makes it like harder like uh mm -hmm. 
Okay. Like, so, like, say I, so like, if I don't come, it's like, oh, you didn't come for the ruin, that's why we lost. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's like, it's, it spirals from, the, like, there, if that makes sense. So then it's like, best to go, and if, like, you win it, like, you kind of do okay, but then if you lose it, like, they just literally end. Mm, yeah. You can see how, like, disastrous it can be sometimes if the fight doesn't yeah. go well, right? And there's a really high chance it doesn't go well. Also, hey, look, it's Vexo again. It's the third game with yeah. him in it. Um, there's a really high chance it doesn't go well. So, like, kind of... What I want you to do in future is literally, like... You, you go to the rune, get vision on it, right? Stand here, and you wait. If I don't fight, like, is it best to just not fight and, like, like, even if, like, my team die, like, cause they, like, they will still go for it, if that makes sense. I would say get in the, like, for science, I want you to not do it. Okay. Even though, yes, it is better that you go fight with your team and there's going to be times when you should fight for the rune. It's the same thing as rotating for runes. Like, I just want you to get in the habit of rotating for every single one, even though it's not correct just to try and build the habit of looking at the clock, looking at my lane, checking mid, walking to mid. In this instance, it's like your lane is always screwed up because you're always low health down on regen or you're like dead when it starts, right? So yeah. you're never getting like a vanilla laning experience. It's always RNG based on how the rune fight went. Like in this instance, you guys go for the rune and you give up a triple kill. That sucks, right? So like, yeah. or a double kill or whatever. Like that's not worth the 40 gold of a freaking bounty rune. It's just, it's just not. So yeah, you, you get a lot more out of like killing the enemy team because you get like XP and you get the gold anyway, right? So just for the purposes of making the experience consistent, you would literally just go here and you would look and you would see the rune spawn and if nobody picks it up after a couple seconds, then you're allowed to go grab it. That's it. Like, that's the extent of what I want you to do. Like, I don't want you to keep losing your health on the rune every single game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get here on time this time. Cool. So let's jump ahead to... Five minutes. Hey, you bought your boots. Cool. Nice. Yeah, this is fun. He tried to gank with it too. That's good. Swap your boots in. I like the TP for it. That was awesome. Um, Sage's mask over branch. Minor, minor thing. Okay, dewarding. All good. Next thing is eight minute runes. You could definitely have made it for the eight minute rune here. But the, the six and the seven was good. I like that. Okay, um, let's keep going, actually see what happens on 10 minute rune as well. Yeah, I would just farm these creeps then. Okay, cool. Um, let's check the next one. Do we have one more we can look at? Um, maybe the uh, hood pink lost with the the. I went with the Zeus, the one just above that. This one here. Okay. What is that? Is that part of the skin? 
It's like weird. There's something in the way of the rank. Looks like someone scribbled on the screen with a marker. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Oh, I'm not streaming in, in Discord. My bad, dude. Rewatching on the Twitch. Yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. Yeah, I'll, I pulled it up in, in uh, uh, Discord. Uh, thank you. Yep. Sorry about that. Okay, hoodwink again. Cool. Um. Okay, why do you have both observer wards here? I was gonna, I was gonna place the one in the mid, and then mm. the one in. I would leave it. I'd let the mid player do it. You want a bag? I can get you a bag. What kind of bag? Let them make the decision. Um, I personally find it really annoying when people buy all the wards in the pregame and then distribute them to people. It's just like, <laughs> just let people make the decision for themselves as long as you got what you need, you know. Is this your anti-pudge ward right here? Yeah. I'd be careful about sticking it here just because it's so close to the camp. Um, if they go to block the camp, it's very likely they catch this ward as well. Okay. Um, so sticking it down here is going to be a little bit more consistent. They won't find that as much. Because I think when people block the hard camp, they're most likely to do it in the top left or the top right. Um, okay. I usually, I'll block the hard camp sometimes in the bottom right, but I think you're more likely to keep the ward alive sticking it down here there's really no good area in here to put an observer ward like even the mountain because it's so easily checked right so yeah. down here i would say would be a little bit more helpful or even you could do a weird one and if you you could put it like down here to see if like yeah. pudge is standing up here looking for a hook right yeah or, or behind the tower if you get the chance um but I think typically some, something I've been learning is that it might be better to use these wards to spot rotations instead of trying to spot the hero. So like it'd be better to have a ward out here or over here to see Pudge walking back and forth like this, right? Okay. Even though this catches him right before he gets here, it's nice to see him far away. Um, anyway, yeah. let's see. So we TP here for the rune, nice. Remember to stand on top of it. No, oh, is Quap gonna get it? Okay, this shouldn't happen. So because you TP'd here and then he TP'd here, she should never get access to this rune. Okay. That's like the point of you TPing here ahead of time. Like, yeah, you can sub the lane and all that stuff. I mean, I think you TP'd here to, like, stop a gank or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see why you're TPing here. But now that you're here, you know, 20 seconds till the rune comes up, just be ready for it. So get yourself, okay. like, an XP range if possible. And then start moving through the rune now. So then you, like, she has to blink to catch up. You would start, you have to just 50-50 it, like, pick one. Like, I would run down here. I would pick the bottom one over the top one because then it's faster to get back to my lane, right? That's where I was laning originally. Yeah. You just start moving there immediately and you get there and then you grab the rune and you guys don't even have to deny it. Make sense? So... Yeah. Let's keep going. Next up is 7 minute. Hey, okay, that's fine. Nice, okay. I was gonna say you could stack there, but it looked like Pudge was chasing you, so that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, and here, this perfect opportunity to just TP mid right now. Even though he doesn't have a bottle, um, 
it's up in 10 seconds. Like, TP to mid instead. Be here for this rune. Okay. That's where action's gonna... Like, all the fights, the higher you go in MMR, all the fights are gonna happen in mid. Around rune timings. And holy crap, it's Vexo again. Is this guy on your friends list yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you, are you queuing with him or no? Uh, sometimes. Like, for sure, I think for I've sure. queued with him like a couple of times now. Oh, wow. Okay, we denied it. Nice. Okay, we're gonna stick around. We'll keep watching for the 10 minute rune too. Just in case. Okay, TP bid for the kill attempt. Nice. And we're here for the rune. Dope. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's look at one more and then we'll, we'll go over notes. You got one more game that's worth looking at? Oh, I think I did it for the, one of the, the Hoodwink or the Hoodwinks ones. Okay, let's just pick this one. It's already a big improvement. Getting there for on time for any of the runes is already better than most people you're going to be playing with, to be honest. Okay. So it's only uphill from here. I found like there's a lot more smurfs in like Crusader. Like that's, a lot more. That's possible. 30 seconds to battle. Wouldn't worry about it though. This type of a rotation is dangerous as well. So because you guys don't see anything, it's possible that like you're gonna walk up behind everybody because they're all sitting here yeah. or they're sitting here and they're camping like remember what i was saying about the later you get to an area the more dangerous it gets right like it's very yeah. high likelihood they're already here or they've already warded this and they see all this I've, i think there was mid like they, sh they showed i think i don't think they'd showed at that point let's see yeah at this point you guys haven't seen anything on the mini map yet so this is already like kind of crazy, like walking up here. Okay. Like I'd already expect to just be dead right now. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's a 50 50, <laughs> right? Like if they're they're going to do basically one of four things. First one is they're all AFK and base. Not unlikely yeah. in this bracket. Second one is <laughs> they try and get all four runes and they send two top and one mid and two bottom, right? Yeah. Means they're running into two heroes. The third one is they five man this rune and the fourth one is they five man this rune. That's basically it. Those are the things you're going to run into. So okay. you have a really high chance. This is this is the same thing as like contesting the rune. Like you're walking here alone. You would expect to see heroes right now. Like if they ran here as fast as you ran here, you would be running into them right now. So the fact that you're okay. not means basically you're just getting luckier and luckier the further in you go because they're not here yet. Because they're also going to delay things, too. Like, if they're, you know, like this guy. Why is he taking so long to walk out here? You don't know. I There's no he... reason for it at all. But they could have the same thing. You could just, oh, look, damn it, CM's here. Not on time. Why is she so late? I don't know, but she's here now. So you're trying to eliminate these, like, possibilities and, and trying to make okay. it, like, a guaranteed thing. Like, I know they can't be here. Or if they are here, we're going to kill them because we're all here too. You know, get get rid of yeah. the, the random chance gambling in this phase of the game and your games will be a lot more consistent. It's OK to contest runes and stuff like that, but it, you need, it needs to be like. You need to make it a little bit more predictable in a way, right? OK, yeah. Now, that's why smokes are helpful, too, because you can run up here while you're smoked and then you can see when your smoke breaks. Be like, oh, shit, there's people nearby, right? OK. OK, we're doing all this. Da, 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 da. The begins. Okay. At this point, yeah, you may as well grab the rune because nobody showed up. Okay. 
And let's jump ahead to five minutes. Okay, in this instance, Centaur's dead. You don't want to miss this whole wave. Yeah, it's kind of hard to rotate forward if he's TPing back this late. So, wouldn't worry about it at this point. Um, you could try and grab the bounty rune, though. That's valuable. But, um, yeah, sometimes weird things like this happen where the mid hasn't grabbed it after 14 seconds. So then that's good. I have to remember that, like, things are going to be different at your rank than at my rank. Like, like when I say back here, like, don't even bother, it's because I know the rune's already taken. Like, if it were in my okay. games, right? In your games, yeah. that's not the case. So you get up here and you get a free haste rune. Because, because why not? He didn't bother to go for it either, right? Like, if that shows yeah. you how much of a difference this is going to make, like... Even the mid players aren't bothering to get their own runes. So like if you're doing it as a support, that puts you way ahead, right? Yeah. Okay. Combo breaker. All right. And we're off to the seven minute rune, hopefully. Okay, got there. Nice. Cool. Okay, go for that eight minute rune. Go, go, go! Yeah, once Centaur's back here, you don't need to wait. You can just get going. Okay. Yeah, that's good. A little late, but it's good. We'll keep watching and see what happens on ten minute rune as well. Jump ahead one minute. Well, now you kind of can't. That's okay. All right. Well, anyway, we did get some good rotations in there. So let's write some notes in. So. Being two out of three runes, some ten minute runes too. That's good. Um, so stop risking yourself on pregame movements and rune fights. That's going to be a really big one. Um, it's good that we're not buying bracers and null talismans and wraith fans anymore. Um, we're not buying wands, all that stuff. You generally have your boots when you're ready to rotate. You're getting a little bit better about using regen. So these are all improvements. Um, good. But yeah, this this is going to be a big one too. Like, Eve, dude, even if they get pissed off, they're like, oh, why aren't you fighting on the rune? And it's like, yeah, whatever, shut up. <laughs> Go play your own okay. game, right? Because, like, they'll forget about it in 30 seconds anyway. It's fine. No, they, they, they really don't. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, they'll just flame like, you like, all game if you don't go for the rune earlier. Yeah. yeah, they'll say, like, oh, he's, like, useless. Like, he didn't go for rune. He didn't know what to do. Like, uh, like lack of team fight. Yeah. Like, I think it was like one of the the drow game I had uh, like earlier. Yeah. Like I like I was just farming like like you know like as you do as a carry. Yeah. And they were just getting so mad that I wasn't like fighting, and it's like I can't fight because I need to farm. If I fight, there's no point late game because like I'm just garbage. If that makes sense. That and one could like... be up for debate because there are definitely times when you should rotate to a fight as a carry. Um, like it was like, but it was like the like first like so like basic like Shadow Shaman left me like in the first four minutes. Yeah. So then I was like, okay, then like I just need to like go jungle like like type of thing. So like I didn't get much like creeps, but I went between like lane and like the jungle to try like catch back up. Mm -hmm. But it was like because I was so behind compared to like the enemy. If I showed up, I would have just died, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. If you're already behind, then yeah, it's fine. But even if you are behind, sometimes that can be a good movement. Like, okay, it's going to take me forever to farm back up. Like, maybe I need to, like, all in and show up to a fight, you know? Depends on your hero. Depends on the circumstances. But, yeah. It's a bit different when you're in the carry. Um, okay. It's kind of the same stuff we've been talking about. Just, like, these rune fights. 
a little bit of itemization and stuff like that. Um, do you have any other takeaways from this session? Something I might be forgetting. Um, I don't know. Maybe like make sure I get the eight minute ruin. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much. I'm trying to think. Oh. Don't hoard the wards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, don't hoard them early. I think in the mid and the late game, it can be okay to be walking around with a big stack of wards in your backpack because, you know, you want to get to a good position before you place them. But early on, okay. try not to hoard them. Just buy one maximum. Otherwise, let other people use them as well because you don't know. Yeah. They might have an yeah. idea of, like, I need a ward in this position, right? I've been trying to get like one observer two century now at the most. Yeah, I'd say that's a good baseline. That's going to cover you for a lot of things. Um, that's pretty much what I'm doing as well. Like if I don't feel like I need any specific items, I'll just buy an extra century because it's like I'm going to use it. I know I'm going to use it sooner or later, so it's not really wasted money. So that's good. I think that's a good uh, a good way to do it. You can probably get away with not having an observer, though. Um, depending on what lane you're in. You know, you don't always okay. need the Observer Ward in the side lanes. Um, it's kind of just a bonus. Sometimes you do, but it's mainly to deal with, like... Like, the, really, the only reason you should need an Observer Ward in your lane is if they have some kind of long-range catch, you know, like a Pudge Hook, or yeah. if you need to spot enemies rotating early. Like, you're really concerned about, like, the enemy four rotating away or whatever. Or you know your lane is complete trash, so you want to use the ward to snipe couriers. Like, that's okay. pretty much the only two use cases where it's like you actually kind of needed it. Other than that, it's just a bonus. You shouldn't okay. you shouldn't actually need it. You just have the clock, and the clock tells you everything you need to know, right? That tells you when you need to, like, walk for contesting camps and pulls and whatever. How do you feel about the room rotations now? Do you want to keep working on it? Because I think it's a big improvement. It could be... We still haven't seen the Holy Grail of the six, seven, and eight minute runes. Uh, that's that's okay. really what I want to see next time. Um, do you think it's achievable? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And we'll up the ante a little bit. See if you can get the 10 minute rune as well. Or be there for the 10 minute rune. That'd be sick. Okay. Um, and then we'll say uh, keep working on ionization. Don't. Don't take damage on bounty runes like you can use your pings as well like i understand like you you want to go fight on them because you're concerned like your team will flame you and stuff like that but like you can just ping like oh back or you can ping the runes that you do want to fight for like if i don't feel like we're strong on the runes i will just go to my own rune you know like if we're dire i'll go yeah. sit on this rune if we're radiant i'll go sit on this rune right okay. like i don't i don't want to walk out here and fight over runes because it's it's in, in introducing a lot of like X factors and it's just not worth the risk. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's just try go back to that one. Just try not to take any damage on them. Just take it. If it's free, if they can test it, fine. The enemy team gets it. I'm not going to die on it. Right. And if okay. your team flames you like swear to God, that, that can be a good barometer. If anybody flames you for not doing it, instant mute. Click muted okay. instantly because it shouldn't they shouldn't have this expectation like we should all go die on the bounty runes like that is a bad practice just because immortal players do it. I think they do it more because they're fucking bored than anything else like <laughs> like that's why they go fight on runes because it makes the game interesting because they're just rolling the dice before the game starts like it's not correct. One team is always favored over the other team like. There's no reason to all in fight for every goddamn bounty rune. Okay. Yeah, I think pub games do it. But I think if you watched, it'd be interesting to go watch pro games and see like how they fight for runes. Because my inkling. They go like a, a five normally. Yeah, they'll go as five or like not at all, right? Like they're either going to sit yeah. defensively or they're not invading. Like it's, or that's the same thing. But you get what I'm saying. It's, it's like a five man action. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's smart. Anyway. All right, dude. Well, that's good. Really good improvement. So we got like 300 MMR from last time. That's awesome. You're in Crusader now. So hopefully your games are a little bit more interesting.
what I would expect is in Crusader, mechanics are getting better, but that's it. Like people are going to do less dumb builds and they're going to click better, but they're not going to have better map awareness or rotations. Yeah. Or, so all that means is that lanes are going to get more important now. It's going to be more important to win your lanes because farming is going to dictate more because people are better at farming, right? Yeah. It's going to be less random. So the stuff's still going to matter. Keep working on it. Um, okay. Are we good for next Wednesday? Yeah. Cool. All right, then. Well, good job, and I will see you next week. No problem. Thank you. No problem, dude. Have a good one. Oh, well. You too. All right, guys. I hope that was helpful. And um, if it was, you can check out the playlist. I have other coaching videos. This is number 17 out of a big series. Uh, if you want to get coached by me, you can check out my Patreon. If you got a question for me or you want to meet other players, you can join my Discord. Like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Comment down below. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.